Looking through the lens Opinions of three friends Looking through the lens Sometimes they don't make sense Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Hello, Mom. <laughs> Welcome Hi. Back. Welcome back to another episode of Cherry Bomb. Lens. Cherry Bomb with your boy of the Unholy Trinity. Um, I will be hosting today, Trinity Gold. On my left is uh, Daddy, the Sun Dude. <clears throat> On my right is uh, Mummy Zephros. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> uh, I, right. I was expecting you to come with a high pitch. Hi. And that's not very mummy. I'm a kid. Hi. That that didn't sound that didn't sound right. No, it, yeah, yeah right. mother needs yeah, to have an assertive, uh, low octave voice, like my. To keep those little shit kids in line, you know, just like, fucking yeah. 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 Speaking of little shit kids, guess what we're reviewing today? Fear Street Part Two, 1978. Yeah. The sequel to Fear Street Part One. Uh, I will read some stuff. Uh, it's directed by Leigh Janayak, written by Zach Olkowicz, Leigh Janayak, Phil Grazia. I'm not going to even try and pronounce these. It stars Sadie Sink, Emily Rudd, Ryan Simpkins, amongst others. Nice. Yeah, let's just, let's just, uh, oh wait, synopsis, shit, sorry. Shady side, 1978, school's out for the summer and the activities of Camp Nightwing are about to begin. But when another shady sider is possessed with the urge to kill, the fun in the sun becomes a gruesome fight for survival. Yes. All right, now, uh, first impressions, boys, what do we think about this one? Is a lot of blood. It's a pretty, pretty bloody, bloody, yeah. bloody. No, which also it's bloody good or bloody bad. I was going to say it's a bloody good time. First, <laughs> mm. <laughs> for some parts, say it's a. I got to admit, mm. the first uh, like fifty, forty to fifty minutes of the film, uh, in my opinion, they sucked ass, and I was falling asleep. You can confirm that with Dio because we're watching it together. I was falling asleep on the call. <laughs> And during the mm-hmm. first like forty minutes until like shit started to happen, I ha- I had to like I- oh yeah I had to drink some bubble tea or something to keep me awake. Nice, but uh, yeah I yeah yeah when it gets going though it gets pretty pretty entertaining and um, what I wanted the movie to be a bit more of. Yeah, it's very um, it's very um an homage to like certain horror icons and stuff of the past which is kind of cool so some of that stuff does take a long while to happen uh it's more spoiler stuff i guess so we'll talk about that later um and ultimately i felt like this movie just wasn't anywhere near as strong as the first film unfortunately do you share similar sentiments i don't know probably maybe i don't know is that for us? <laughs> oh boy, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Uh, let's get on to the acting then. What do we think about the acting? It was decent, right? Yeah. It is pretty decent. Sa- Sadie was great, as usual. Sadie. Sadie Sink, yeah. Who uh, you may or may not know from Stranger Things. Ah. Wait, did you guys watch Stranger Things? Nope. I will say, uh, is Dio frozen? No. Wait. Maybe oh. I am. Nice. <laughs> I'm back. Well, I will say, um, I recommend Stranger Things to you. would like it. It's your sort of show. Yeah, but he has really bobby brows. So I'm not going to watch <laughs> okay. Just to piss off the fence. Yeah. Okay. 
Sure. Um, anyway, back on track. Uh, yeah, the acting was pretty good, eh? Sure. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. All right, then. Now we get into the meat of the thing, which is the writing of the film. Uh, would you like to start? I think that's Dio. Oh. Righty. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... The story being told, I mean, the characters kind of don't matter in the grand scheme of things, yeah. but, you know, they're just a means to an end, which is murder. So... That's not even really a spoiler, because you kind of already know that going into yeah. it, if you watch the last one. So, like, the characters kind of bland. And, you know... They yeah. fu- a lot of them are fucking unlikable. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, yeah. I like Sadie, um, but, like, her performance is good, but her character fucking sucks. She is a terrible protagonist. Like, god damn it. I could not stand whenever she was on screen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah drugs very... be making appearance again. Yeah, deep yeah. social commentary on the drugs. And on the... On the... What else was there? Uh, they're all cursed. Because they cursed. Yeah. And on the drugs, because the drugs, man, the drugs see making you see the witch. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. drugs. Yeah. I feel like uh, the, the one strength, uh, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's something that I noticed was that in like all the, I guess, scarier scenes, there's still tension, even though you know. They're gonna die. So you don't know when they're gonna die. Yeah. So I think they did a pretty good job at that. Yeah. And they do not shy away from anything in this film. This like, uh, it's like the ending of the first film, but like that's uh the last half of the movie is just like the ending of that first film, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Which is what yeah, I is. wanted to see. So I was impressed with that. Yeah. Well, that's just that. All right. There's nothing more to really say without, without spoilers, right? I think so, yeah. All right, then we'll go into cinematography. Right. It was all right. It was right. Too special. Yeah. All right. Editing and visuals. <laughs> um. Visuals are uh, pretty good for the most part, eh? Like the the gore and shit looks pretty nice. Yeah. Pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. There is some questionable uh, CGI that we'll talk about as spoilers, right? Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lastly, audio and music. Uh, do you? I think you have some stuff to say about this one. A lot of music from the 70s, man, but a bit better than the last movie. They paced it kind of in a more uh, modest pace. Therefore, like, you know, it's, it's paced out a little better. But yeah, they they, they so got I, the budget, man. Yeah. They got a lot of so songs. I feel like, this. yeah. They, they paced, they like spaced it out more than the first one did because the first one like concentrated at the start and then like let it, um, Kind of and it stopped fade away. This one kind of came back a bit more consistently, and they used it in like uh, for some for some reason music's used in like scary scenes, and it like ruins the tension. Mm. Did you find that? Because I kind of found that. But oh. then like, they have noise. People would turn on the radio and get murdered. That's like style, one. bro. You want yeah, to get murdered in style? But like, <laughs> murdered in style. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Uh, let's let's get into spoilers then. 
we'll go, go a bit more in depth into this film. Sun Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying. <laughs> I'm not even paying. Spooler <laughs> man. Hello, spoiler yeah. Sam. Yeah. Hi Sam. How's everything? Uh, hi. Hi. Welcome back. You got possessed by the witch for a second there. <laughs> uh, timestamp is on the screen, and we are we we're, we're in the shit now, boys. Yes, we uh, are. Signing off with Deer. Going to talk about the spoilers. Yeah. So. Y'all remember the. The, the the beating heart of the cave. Yeah. Yo, it's alive. The cave is a living being. And the zombies wow. come from the cave. Yeah. Ain't that cool? Yeah. yeah. Why is there a beating heart in the cave? I don't know. I don't know. I've... Style, bro. But it looks kind of ass. Yeah. There you go. Why the fuck am I imagining like a big ass beating instead of like a heart beating? <laughs> and all these zombies climbing out of the ass. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, no. I need to shut that down now. <laughs> Quality content. Good visuals. Good visuals. Yes, that would be good visuals, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Who, who put the, put the yeah. second point? It's like, the, what, it's, what these films that go back to like the 70s, like, oh wow, the 70s. And yeah. apparently, the only thing that happens in the 70s in America is just a He's bunch of things always bro. having sex. Yes. I yeah. actually think that's uh, because they're trying to do an homage to the classic uh, Friday 13th film. Ah. Because there they were a lot of kids just one? fucking and stuff. Yeah, they bang a lot and then they get murdered. Which is what okay. happens in this one. Actually, that kind of brings me to something. Uh, today, I don't know if I put it around, but um, there's a lot of inspiration from different horror stuff that you can get. Um, there's Carrie references. There's a, lot, there's a lot of Stephen King references, obviously. Uh, the entire film is like Friday the 13th, right? So that's a clear one there. Uh, <laughs> I noticed the Michael Myers reference. There was a dude wearing like a jumpsuit thing and a Michael Myers ish mask, the guy who stabs her at the end. Yeah, that was the um, the um, well, the the murderer from the original murderer, the original possessed guy. From um, in from sixteen sixty six. Oh yeah. Yes. Not a spoiler. Uh, there was witches and shit. There was like, yeah. Oh yeah, the little kid with the baseball bat. Yeah, he was so cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was watching it, I was like, dude, look how cute that killer is. <laughs> Damn. I would have let him sweep this little baseball bat at me. Oh. Aww. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Cute little mm. baseball one. Uh. What? What's what? the next point? I mean, we get to the end of the movie, and he's like, oh, is Dina the witch? What? Yeah, I thought that More would like happen, Dina... I'm not gonna lie. Because, uh... <laughs> okay, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think Dina took the um, drug message from this film a bit too seriously. I spit it out. Hey, I'm, I'm not only on the Tylenol, man. <laughs> mm. There's nothing to you. Oh, that reminds me. Those, those themes and stuff are still back in this one for some reason. So um, have fun with that. Yeah. I guess it's more negative in this one. In 1666, they'd they be smoking some uh, dead hu- human, you know? <laughs> yeah. Dead flesh. <laughs> rotten flesh. They'd be smoking some mom spaghetti. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. With the Dina being the witch thing. Uh, yeah, I kind of thought that would happen because... Um, Thinking that's the only way they'd really be able to go back in time is through like a like this like vision thing because it's all taking place in a mind. It's kind of yeah. like a Far Cry drug trip. <laughs> oh, Sarah's been using drugs this entire 
time and like <laughs> possessing people with drugs. Yeah. And giving people visions and hallucinations with drugs. That's why the drug message is made. It's Obi leading up to ah. the fact that she's just drugging people. If they do that in the next movie, that'll be really funny. <laughs> I also reckon that what they're going to do is Sarah's not going to be the villain. I think she is a misunderstood sweetheart. By mm. literally putting the protagonist in Sarah's shoes, they're going to create empathy. Mm. Classic 16th century, 17th, 15th century shenanigans. Nah. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, one of the things there to talk about, I kind of like. Uh, hey, the racist cop is in this movie, but he's a kid. Ah, yes. Yeah. Nick, good. Well, like. Uh, Nick, bad. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my god, Nick Bad is gonna be the antagonist. Oh wow. He's a bad guy. You know how you were saying that if they're gonna the soundtrack for the next film, it's just gonna be bad guy by Billy Island. <laughs> He's the bad guy. Mm, maybe, maybe. Yeah. No one uh, stopped thinking else we'll get demonetized. Because even though we're not demonetizing, anyways, hello, we're Daddy. Hello, Mom. Stop, <laughs> Jerry. Bob, your mother. Jerry, Bob, your mom. What has this episode become? All right, we are clearly <laughs> been taking way too much of uh, the witch's drugs. Um, Let's get on to the yeah. final verdicts before we ruin this anymore. Hell yeah. <laughs> Take it away, dear. Hey, cool movie, you know? A lot of cool jams on there. We got fucking David Bowie. We got a bit of He really does sound like he's high. Uh, carry on my way with son, yo. <laughs> Cherry bomb. Hi, I daddy. And, uh... Yeah. The other song, I think there was some song. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a seven. Uh, for me, yeah, I didn't enjoy this as much as the last one. What did I give the last one? I gave it like a seven, right? Man. I reckon there's like half a good movie in here, or like at least a decent one. I'm gonna give this one a five point five. Oh, yeah. Uh, Trying to be six. decisive, son, man. Six. What did you give it? You gave it a seven. I put, put it down to six, five. mate. Oh, he's going down. Thought about it. Not too right. many songs. That's like a. Hmm. That's like a five point. Eight, five point nine. Five point seven five. Six point nine minus one. Nice. We'll go five point nine then, yeah. Sure. Epicool. Yeah. Sick. All right. That was another episode of this. Uh look forward to our next one, which will probably come out like a little while after this one for the final part of this mm. history. As always, make sure you click that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification button. Otherwise, the witch is going to come get you. Yeah. 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 Whoa. What is that? Hell yeah. You're getting on this. Whoa. A. The ass ass in the cave. (laughs) We don't talk about it. That's a spoiler, sorry. All right, sorry. This is the mess of a review, as all as all of our reviews are. But um, yeah, that, that's that's kind of it, right? Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.